Uh, by the way, I'm uh, for whatever reason, I'm getting a lot of heat from hippies. Oh, boy. No, you're not. Oh, boy. No, <laughs> no you're not. Th- there is no one, regardless of what you think of me. I'm an a-hole. I understand that. <laughs> there is no group of phonier pieces of garbage than hippies. <laughs> I mean, they, this, this, they expo- expose this uh, peace and love. You know, oh, we're all the same. You know, oh, like, oh, we're so progressive. Oh, look at all our issues. We're so progressive. And uh, I'll tell you, pedophilia, very high on their minds. What? (laughs) Well, they took my name, Fred Toucher, and and, and then started saying pedophilia. Okay. All right. I mean, if anything is real, every time I, I run into hippies, I, I am always amazed by just how despicable they are. Because you know what they are? They're the first people that would be like, oh, this is hate speech. Or, oh, you know, this 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 person is, uh, they're, they're, oh, you know, cancel this guy. Oh, look good for, like, everyone walking out. And, uh, oh, protest this and protest that. But the minute you say something they don't like, it's one thing to go like, "Hey, you're you're a douchebag," or "You're not funny," or something like that. That's all. That's what I do for a living. That's all legitimate. But the vitriol, Hardy, the vitriol, and it's specifically from hippies because it will be like a fish site that will get mad at me, and then these hippies with. It, first of all, if your if your first thing off the top of your head is pedophilia. Would you post something about pedophilia in any way, shape, or form on the internet? Uh, no, no, not not if I was trying to make a joke or say anything about it. No, I would not. Wouldn't pedophilia like it wouldn't ever even cross your mind? No, it's not. It's not something that you so like touch her, toss around uh, loosely or lightly. Yeah, like th- th- like you're you're. I, it makes me think that you are that you are thinking about pedophilia a g- great deal. Oh, I hate hippies because <laughs> it's the phoniness. Like, if it was some, like, you know, crazy QAnon guy, then I'd be like, all right. Yeah. The guy's living the lifestyle. Like, he's QAnon. Go do your thing. Yeah. You know, like, this guy's pissed at everything. Yeah. But this, like, whole thing, like, yeah, man, we're just going to the shows. and You know, man, like, we, we just, everyone's invited and everything's cool. But this is, like, the, the every time I piss off hippies, they, they, they're the worst. The worst. Worse than anybody. Worse than when the Tebow people, just awful. The, the hippies, not every it, people complain. You can complain about me all you want. Look, I get it. Like I say, do she? Yes. <laughs> like you know, like I get it. Like I'm, I'm, I'm like I'm a, I'm a bit of a prick. I'm trying to be funny, but it doesn't always hit the mark. I understand all that. Like and and you know, it, I, I appreciate. And I would insult me too. I insult people all the time. It's what, every day I'm insulting people. I get it. I'm trying to do it in a funny way, but listen, everyone's entitled to their opinion. Hippies, no. Hippies, very vitriolic. Well, I, and, and, and it's only, it's not like, listen, but the degree of pedophilia jokes, it, it is concerning to me because to, I think that some of these people are thinking about pedophilia a great deal because it's not like you're a pedophile, like something in your past. It's like you're a toucher pedophilia. So disturbing, John. Anybody, any, I can see that. Anybody, and, and I guess hippies would fall into this category for you, Fred, uh, yeah. that uh, they, they want open mindedness and they want everybody to, you know, kind of be accepting and to explore your mind. But once they, you know, people like that decide they don't like you or you, you've run afoul of that, they become very closed minded oh, toward I, you. I'm going to kill you. I want you. Why don't you go kill yourself? You're yes. an alcoholic, you stupid drunk. And all of that you is are. legitimate and on the table. I am an alcoholic. Yeah. Me but too. all that is on the on the table. But like, so why do you t- if you asked any of those hippies, like what? Like, why do you take acid? Like, why are you into hallucinogenics? Oh, it opens up your mind. It takes me to this place where uh, it, it dissolves all these boundaries. It gets me to the spiritual plane. Nice. I understand the nature of existence. We're all just there atoms connected in this world. And it's all phony bullcrap. They're all phony pieces of garbage. They, they'd all call themselves Buddhist. I guarantee you they would. And, and like, you know, as the Buddha says, like, don't react. You know, uh, you know pause before you react. 
all these things, and they're all full of crap. They're worse. They're entitled, rich pieces of spoiled garbage that were afraid to get into anything else. They are following a culture that existed when their grandparents were alive, and they can all go screw. And they're all physical pussies, and they all can go screw. They couldn't fight their way out of a tin can. And I hope you all, all get arrested and then go to jail with a bunch of pedophiles and they have their way with you. Now that's closed minded. <laughs> not if they deserve to be arrested. Now listen, this is not people like insulting. Look, man, I open myself up and you have every right to insult me and every reason to hate me. I understand it all. Why would what, a pedophile want to have their way with a grown hippie though? Hmm. He yeah, makes, perhaps the he logic makes a good point. Not, the yeah. logic was not. It's there. kind of out of the lane that we were speaking of. The, yes. the logic was not there, and I, I, maybe I the pedophile is more open minded, and it's like no, you know no, what? the I'm pedophile, pedophile my yeah, right Fred. Here. No, pedophiles are worse than hippies. But uh, I'll go as so far as to say that. But but you See, know you're, you're, now you are a little bit more open minded. Okay, good. Oh, I'm more uh, I'm open minded than hippies. Absolutely, I'm more open minded than hippies. Absolutely, of a hundred percent. The thing I hate about hippies is how phony they are. It has nothing to do with their lifestyle. Like, the Grateful Dead suck and, in like, all that. But that's just a bad band. There's a million bad bands. No, what I hate about hippies, and I always have, is there... And what most people who hate hippies hate about hippies is the extraordinarily phoniness of them. Like, this just... This entirely phony... And it's, like, covering up for all their insecurities and all their real hate... They're like just hateful pieces of garbage. Racist, horrible racist. Horrible racist, homophobes. They're awful. How many black guys you see a Grateful Dead or a uh, or, or, or a fish show? Well, I'm just trying to think. I'm trying to remember if I've ever known a gay hippie. You might be on to something. They're homophobic, <laughs> racist. They're the worst. And, and, and it's and, and at least like a QAnon guy. Like a QAnon guy, like is like straight up just racist. Like and then like you kind of know what you get. They don't pretend to be something they're not. Like right. Like hippies like would hippies would tell you like oh man, and they would try to get you in trouble if you said anything. They'd be like oh get that guy in trouble. Not 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 like a a joke in poor taste or something. But like like literally like a political view. They would try to get you like in trouble because oh he's so close minded. Oh you don't understand da 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 da. And then the first, but the minute you say something they don't do, they're oh, pedophile this, pedophile that. They, they, they're just, and then like go die and go kill yourself, which is, which is with the hippies. I just, and they're all like fish fan 21. Is it fair, Fred, just because the only black hippie I can think of is Jimi Hendrix? Is it fair? <laughs> he died in the 60s. Is it, is it fair to say just because uh, not many black people choose the hippie lifestyle? That makes the other hippies racist. If you chose an identity that that was entirely based that that almost excused any other race, <laughs> I would, and then chose to make that your entire identity, you're a racist. <laughs> you're a awful, awful racist. And listen, if you're a minority and like the Grateful Dead and want to live that lifestyle, more power to you. And and I appreciate it because you're a total free thinker. And then I put you on a different level. But but these trust trustafarian uh, pieces trust of garbage yeah, yeah. garbage <laughs> trust they, they went to all white boarding schools they <laughs> they surround themselves with all white people the music they listen to is really white go listen to Jerry Garcia's uh, uh, from the Grateful Dead his take on rap he's the most racist <laughs> uh, mother effer in the history of the world I'd it's not, not music he essentially oh but and you know what they do they stole black people's music and don't say because he might have put Buddy Guy on his show that he wasn't a despicable racist. And they've ruined more lives through their drug abuse than any other band in the history of the world. They're really just pieces of garbage. And by the way, all of you with John Mayer like uh, stuff on your account, John Mayer loves me. So go screw yourselves there because uh, he doesn't like you. Dan, go. And by the way, he was banging Jessica Simpson, you hippie. Dan, go ahead. Double double do. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to say that. I think uh, yeah, calling somebody a pedophile is now the go-to because there's no comeback to it. Like, what are you going to say? Like, no, I'm not. And then yeah, it's exactly. this weird thing 
that like it's just it's it's like calling someone racist it's like uh no i'm not it's like you can't prove it <laughs> so it's it's just the go-to is but, you know what's disturbing to me is that like that's what comes to mind you understand what i'm saying like that that's your like thing like that the pedophile so anyway <laughs> like look, Cubba -dubba -doo. Man. <laughs> remember you said adolfo out to a dead concert at fenway park the best was he was talking to this guy, and the guy's like, hold on a second. And he reached out and pulled out his BMW car keys and went to lock his car. Yes. And you heard the little beep, beep. While Not only that, John, was talking to him. He was selling sandwiches. So other, Yeah, he was selling the sandwiches, and there were another four four guys that Adolfo talked to that had just been limoed over. If I remember right, Heart, to the but, concert. But the, the BMW guy, this was so the bit was, this is actually my idea for a bit, is, is go to the dead show. Find the people that are like hustling in the parking lot, and selling grilled and, cheese, and, and ask to see their us. car keys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so what the bit was, John, is that this guy was selling like sandwiches, and then heart, and then and then uh, uh, Adolfo said, "I'll give you twenty bucks if you let me see your car keys." And the guy had BMW car keys. Yep. Yeah. He was selling sandwiches in the parking lot. Yeah. So so everything you d so you racist homophobic awful hippies. You've just you I, you've doubled down. I don't I don't like the hippies. I don't like them, Hardy. A friend of mine uh, back in Michigan, his uh, sister in law, makes a point of going to Burning Man or used to, um, and was all upset because she needed a certain cooler to go to Burning Man and spell her sell her special lemonade. And you know the whole point of going there was to, you know, pay for the. You know, this, that, and the other thing. Do you know what she does back in Michigan when she's not traveling to Burning Man to sell her lemonade? Hmm. She is a doctor at Henry Ford <laughs> Hospital. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Jeez. And, I, I mean, I could I could get him on the phone, and he will back up the story a thousand percent. It's his sister-in-law. He, I don't think he wants to necessarily get in that much trouble with his wife. It's his wife's sister, but Wow. I'll what tell you this. A, what a story this this woman is. I actually, Burning Man is as much as I wouldn't want to go is like, and that's a terrible thing. It's a terrible story. Is that it? That's more of like an art collective, like whatever. I'm talking grade A hippies. Yeah, <laughs> I'm talking like, and I think that like there might be OG more, hippies. I'm thinking Burning Man is more <laughs> a collective of different ideologies and races and religions and stuff. I, 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 not not so much the dead shows. <laughs> Racist, all of them. All right, very good. Thank you. You feel better? <laughs> oh, what, yeah. What brought this on? <laughs> it's like, that was, there was some real anger what behind the, that. What was the genesis of all this, Fred? Again, I will make the point of I. If there's a lot of justifiable criticism. If you don't like me or don't like something I said that is completely valid, I deserve all your slings and arrows. But if you're a hippie... And the, the the most vitriolic, like, and it's not even that that it bothers me that it's vitriolic, but it just the hypocrisy of the most vitriolic, like, nasty, go kill yourself, the most like, like alcohol, because they see like on Instagram like the alcohol stuff, so like the like the most like go kill yourself, you alcoholic, I'm gonna pee on your grave, alcoholic, and then you and then I'll go, oh, that's not nice, and then I'll look at the account and it's like fish fan twenty one. And again, these are the people that would tell you, oh, I'm the most progressive person. I like, you know, everyone's invited. I'm so spiritual. And it's, and there's, and I think you know by now, the one thing in life that I cannot stand is phoniness, is, 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 is fake phoniness, which is why I've had uh, problems with people in the past. I just be your, just, just be upfront about the way you are. And then we, then, and then we're fine. Because, but, but don't, don't have your whole life be categorized as this. Cause you know what they are, Hardy, is they're being superheroes, super progressive, man. That's what they are. And then they turn around and then they're like the opposite of it. It's almost like a cloak they can put on to be disgusting, homophobic racist. So there you have it. Who's pedophile is the first thing off their mind. Well, your name is Toucher. Mm -hmm. It's right there waiting for us. Low hanging fruit. There's a bunch of things about toucher, but I don't know why your brain would go to pedophilia. And then why would you feel comfortable putting that on the internet? 
Like for all to see. These aren't yeah. emails. No, that guy was no. Come on. Yeah, that's on that's he a was different just, case. He was come naked on. in an adult's trunk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stop that. All right. Very good. Now that I've said that, I can move on. <laughs> and so everyone mark that and write an article about that because that is, I, I stand by all of that. I have people that like the Grateful Dead emailing me reasonable things. I will say you this. Look, man, like whatever you want. I'm talking about if your identity is being a hippie. And then it, more often than not, this is a very, uh, very, uh, very, very caustic group of people. 